Hey friends, I'm Shelly Shush. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this day in the life vlog. As you can see, I still have a sick kiddo at home with me. We're going on over two months of being sick. Luna went back to school for one week. We had probably two days of no runny noses in the house and then bam, on Saturday, Maverick's nose started running. Sunday, Luna started having another fever. She's probably got another ear infection. We're headed to the doctor's today to... Yeah. Yeah. We already had this appointment booked so that she could get her ears rechecked to make sure that the last ear infection went away. But either it didn't go away or uh, a new one came back because she got sick again. So either way, we're going to see the doctor. We're going to get her checked out. We're going to get Maverick checked out. <sighs> We're probably gonna watch a bunch of movies today, maybe do a few activities. Um, I'm gonna share a learning book with you guys that I've been uh, doing with Luna. I had one before when she was much younger, but we started on a new one uh, yesterday, so I'll share that with you guys. Um, I think tonight for dinner, I'm going to make clam chowder. Don't hold me to that. Mmm, Luna loves soup. Um, I, don't hold me to it, but I think that's what we're gonna have for dinner. We also are going to do something really fun tonight. I'm not gonna tell you. Don't forget to show what? Show the block the elf. Okay, we gotta show you Tree Tree, our elf. Um, we also have something super fun planned for tonight when Tata gets home, but uh, in case it doesn't happen, I'm not going to say what it is just yet. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we get up to today, then just keep watching. I have to show you. So elf. here is Tree Tree, our elf. Please don't mind all the dust on my chandelier. Um, Tree Tree has been getting into sh some shenanigans and he's also he's watching. So he, well, Luna built the tower, but he I had, had he had a bunch of cups out last night and he hid a chocolate under for her to find and she took the cups and built this tower afterwards. Are you loving having Tree Tree come visit every day? Yeah. Yeah. He's here for and one more week. And look what she made. I make a death. Just call her Picasso. just finished up at the doctor's um, still have an ear infection other than that everybody is doing just fine um, we have a little tradition when we come to the the doctors because there's a drive-through Starbucks like the only one close to anywhere uh, is on our way home so we always stop at Starbucks and she's gonna get a cake pop and I promised myself last time that I would get a cake pop next time too so I'm gonna do that anyways we are gonna stop there, we're gonna go home, we're gonna have some lunch, kids are gonna go down for a nap, and then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello! Hello! Hi, good, thanks, how are you? I'm good, what kind of guest today? Can I have a grande um, Irish cream cold brew, please? And what kind of cake pops do you have? We have the birthday, the chocolate, and the peppermint. Do you want birthday, chocolate, or peppermint, Luna? Um, Birthday cake and a peppermint, please. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Luna, hang on, please. Thank you. There you are. You're welcome. Okay. All right, we are home. It is time for the kids to have lunch. And yeah, Maverick's in T.O. because he keeps pulling my Google out of the plug, out of the socket. So for lunch, so Maverick is having a slice of toast with laughing cow cheese, some of those green pea puffs, and then some blackberries. And Luna is over here having a sandwich with turkey and cheese. 
some pickles, and some that, veggie straws, and, and she's that. drinking pickle juice. Let me know if any of your kids are weird like that too. And laughing cow And laughing cow Kids are almost done eating lunch, so it's going to be nap time soon. While they are napping, well, while they're getting ready to go down for a nap, I'm going to start prepping stuff for dinner tonight. So I'm going to make the, the clam chowder. It's actually a lot easier than you would expect it to do. So than you would expect it to be so I've got some potatoes just diced up over here I'm going to dice up an entire onion and probably get to the bacon now as well so that when time comes I just have to throw everything into the pot and it's not going to be so labor intensive with these kids running around all crazy <laughs> the screaming baby in the back I just tried to put Maverick down for a nap but I think he's probably finished with two naps a day because this is how it went yesterday as well anyways I just wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch just some very spicy salami some pretzel crisps I love this roasted red pepper dip that I dip these in just a little hunk of cheese and then a couple clementines because I love clementines all right, so to make this clam chowder, I first started with melting some butter and then I threw in my onions and my bacon and I sauteed all of that together until the bacon was nice and brown. I will tell you guys that I didn't like how I made this and I will explain all of my mistakes at the end. So then I added that chicken stock that I made in my last vlog and a jar of clam juice. Next time I would probably use two jars of clam juice. I brought that to a boil with the potatoes and then I covered and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. When the potatoes were soft, I added my clams and a carton of um, half and half cream. And then I mixed that all together and then I had to season it again with some salt, some fresh cracked pepper and some garlic powder. I also added two bay leaves to this and I didn't show that. I gave that a nice stir and then I let it simmer for a little bit. It wasn't thickening, so I gave it a slurry with about three tablespoons of flour and some water mixed up and then I waited for that to thicken and then we were just about done after this taste. Okay, so here is the finished product. I always like to have tons of fresh cracked black pepper on top of my chowders or bisques. Um, I wouldn't recommend making this recipe the way that I made it. Uh, if I had to do it over again, I would have done the bacon first and taken it out. I would have also added a couple bay leaves to it while it was simmering. And at the end, when I added the flour, I added way too much flour in my slurry so it became bland. And I had to make it come alive again by adding about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. It does taste good, but I wouldn't make it the same way that I made it right now. Okay, so it is actually the next day. My children turned into little terrors yesterday. 
and I had to stop filming and doing everything that I had planned on doing yesterday. Um, the super fun thing that we were supposed to do yesterday was go to the Christmas market downtown and I had to take that away because we were just in the middle of Meltdown City. And I am one of those people, I always say what I mean and mean what I say and I told them, well I told Luna, if you don't start behaving properly, we are not going to do this very fun thing. And then she just would not behave. So I had to take it away. Everyone was upset, including me. Um, but today she has, well, last night she slept through the night, which was fantastic. Um, she has this awful habit of waking us up in the middle of the night for absolutely nothing. Um, but she slept through the night last night because she was in major trouble yesterday. She is back to school today. And our elf went away today, which she is not happy about. Uh, the elf left her a letter telling her that she needs to behave better and maybe he'll come back. And uh, so yes, if she is good today, then we will go to the Christmas market tonight and I will take you guys along on that. Right now, I need to sit here while Maverick is napping and edit this vlog so that I can have it up for you guys tomorrow because usually today is my full editing day and not a filming day as well. But since I had to cut it short yesterday, I will still film today and I will get you guys a good day in the life for tomorrow. Anyways, I will catch up with right. you soon. I was gonna wait until I got all my Amazon stuff in to show you guys, but as you can see, I am losing daylight by the second. It's already golden hour and it's only like 3.30, so. Um, let's just go ahead with what I ended up getting. So I got two of the Attitude laundry detergents to have as backup. I love having a stock of anything that I use all the time. So I ordered two of them because I have one that's at, at about half right now and I just want to have them on hand. Attitude is my favorite non-toxic um, brand for pretty much everything, bath and body products. I'm waiting for my olive tree to get here for my new bedroom. Quick thing about my new bedroom. So I know I haven't shown you guys the room yet. Um, it's not completely finished, so I don't wanna show it before it's finished. We are planning on getting into the walk-in closet like very soon, like within like the next week, I guess. Um, we're designing it right now. So if you want to see a sneak peek of the bedroom, then leave a comment down below and let me know. And in my vlog next week, I will share a sneak peek if, if anybody wants to see it. Okay, and then lastly, I got some of these fun hot chocolates. Um, I'm gonna use them to make gifts for some of my friends' kids. Uh, and a couple of them are for Luna as well. I will be the first to say, the ingredients are not good on these things. They, they are pretty bad. But I figure for a fun, magical treat, um, I would get them anyway. Because these hot chocolates turn into the colors that are on the package. And then I also got Luna some of these dehydrated marshmallows to use on hot cocoa because she loves hot cocoa and she's obsessed with marshmallows. Hello. So, as you guys can see, we are not at the Christmas market. Um, as soon as we got on the highway, I looked up the directions and it said it was going to take us 49 minutes to get there and it's usually like a 20 minute drive and because it's already like close enough to the kids bedtime, we were just winging it anyways. It just would not make sense for us to spend an hour on the highway trying to get there and then who knows how the rest of the time would go. So we decided to come to the mall instead to hopefully entertain the kids. Um, Luna has already gone on three escalator rides and they have lots of pretty lights for us to see here. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit and then I'll catch up with you guys when we get home. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love 
And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. All right guys, we are home now. It wasn't quite the Christmas market. I'm so sad that I missed it two days in a row, but that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, we're home now, gotta get the kids in bed. I gotta finish editing this vlog so I can get it up for you guys tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this very random vlog, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. You can follow me over on Instagram at mrs.shelly.shoosh and I will catch up with you soon in a new video. Bye.